Greetings, Earthlings of the East Aranaquit Middle School. Today is Tuesday, October 29th. It is a B-Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's lunch choices are meaty nachos or the grab-and-go options. Congratulations to 8th grade Lightning Students of the Week, Casper M. and Patrick V. Keep up the good work and see Mrs. Sanchez for your certificate and prize. 6th, 7th, and 8th grade Lancers, you are invited to attend the Wednesday, November 6th, We Have a Dream Club in Miss Davis's Room 151. The project theme is Native American Heritage Month. In order to attend, please see Miss Davis for a special pass by Tuesday, November 5th. All of our schools will be participating in Socktober this year. From October 28th through November 1st, students are asked to bring in new socks, mittens, or hats for donations to a local homeless shelter. We will be celebrating Socktober with a sock-themed spirit week. Wednesday's theme is Socket to Bullying. Wear pink, the color of kindness, and write positive notes to classmates. The temperatures are dropping and winter is on its way. Are you ready to get your snowboarder skis back on and hit the slopes? Have you always wanted to learn how to snowboard or ski? We have a club for you. The Snow Sports Club will take six weekly trips to Bristol Mountain to enjoy the slopes on Wednesday nights. They offer lessons and rentals if you have never been before. If you are interested in joining, see Mrs. Paquin in room 116, and an information packet can be found just outside the door. Student government will have its first meeting today, after school. All are welcome to attend. We will discuss the upcoming year in electing officers. As part of a veterans program called Before the Last Call, a project that recognizes our veterans, first responders, and their families. On November 9th, they are having a fundraiser and they want to hand out some handmade cards at the concert to the people who have served. If you have time in an SAS or circle time, have your students create cards for Veterans Day and give them to Mrs. Walsh by November 8th at the latest so she can get them to the event and pass out the cards from our EIMS students. It would be great to have enough cards to hand out to all that attend. She heard it for the 13th night in a row. She had a feeling that something bad would happen any minute now. She hid in the corner of the room. Then she saw it. Its eerie, elongated, crooked shadow creeped around the corner. And before she knew it, with one scream, it was all over! <laughs> Congratulations to Olivia N. for winning the Library Two Sentence Horror Story Contest. Live long and prosper. Gianna, EIMS TV.